Well, good morning. I'm Demetrius Sanders at our digital desk. Here's a look at this morning's headlines. We have a crime alert update for you this morning. Peoria police have arrested a man as part of a homicide investigation. 29-year-old Rodney Heron faces first-degree murder and is now in the Peoria County Jail. Yesterday, officers with the Peoria Police Special Division took Heron into custody on West Hampshire Road. On July 31st, 30-year-old Darius Dawson was found dead in South Peoria in a South Peoria neighborhood. Peoria County Coroner Jamie Harwood says Dawson died on West Latrobe Street near South Ligonier Street from multiple gunshot, gunshot injuries. Harwood tells us Dawson likely died minutes after the incident. And we're getting a first look at the moments leading up to a scary encounter. Police say two people robbed a Peoria woman at gunpoint, stealing her car keys and her car. The woman's ring doorbell camera recording the entire situation. She later posted the footage on Facebook. The incident happened on West Hansler Place in Peoria at about 9.30 Tuesday night. Police said they recovered the woman's car Wednesday. The investigation is ongoing, but police say the suspects are likely minors. In prioritizing mental health, Governor J.P. Pritzker taking steps to address first responders' well-being, the governor signing Senate Bill 1575 yesterday. It mandates the creation of an online resource page with a comprehensive collection of mental health resources for first responders. Peoria's fire chief and AMT's community resource manager say they're grateful Pritzker is highlighting the matter. They say their departments already have resources in place to address mental health, but they could always use more. You have another avenue online so that when they need it right now, when they need to talk to somebody right now, they have the information at their fingertips. And I think that can only be a good thing. Every safety net that is in place is, is just going to assure that our providers have everything that they need um, to get through the day and to do their job and to provide help for others. Now this resource will be developed by the Illinois Department of Human Services Division of Mental Health with a target launch date of January 2022. Well, let's check in now with meteorologist Molly Naslin. Good morning, Molly. Good morning, Demetrius. 71 now in Pontiac on our Pontiac RV camera. Plenty of sunshine expected later today and into the weekend with temperatures in the low to mid 80s. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. For updates on these stories and more, download the CI Proud to Go mobile app.